Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Center. So let's talk Pittston area Patriots football. Joining us is the new head coach, Jim Norris. Well, Jim, uh, working hard, I'm sure. A, uh, a blue-collar mentality you had when you played. And, of course, uh, I'm sure you're getting after your guys, and, and hopefully they're giving you the same effort right now. Welcome to the show. Hey, John. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you uh, allowing us to get some exposure for Pittston area football. Well, uh, tell us about these kids, uh, what they've been doing in the weight room and, and what you're able to see so far very, very early uh, in your tenure there at Pittston area. Yeah, sure. We're, we're uh, you know, it's, it, it's June, and, and we're about six and a half months into our offseason. Um, we, we made it uh, a priority to, to get started the day after um, the day after I was appointed. So uh, we we hit the ground running. Um, I know there was a there was a lot of excitement from the kids. Um, you know, I, I had the privilege of actually coaching with these guys, uh, co- coaching a lot of the players I'm coaching now. Two years ago, when I you know I do I did spend the year working with Mike and uh, got got some some got to develop some really good relationships with uh, especially the senior class that I have right now. Uh, really, really fortunate to have a, a, a very, very good senior class. Um, you know, every every uh, every head coach I think has to probably deal with discipline issues every now and then. And you know, I, I, I'm fortunate to step into a situation where where we have a, a really good group of kids where, where that's not a concern. Uh, you know, we we need to have this year. But you know, we again we are we did hit the ground running in the off season. Uh, we've been going pretty consistently four days a week. Uh, since December, we've done a lot of fun things in the off season. We we, we had an overnight camp um, up at Mansfield University, which was sponsored by the NFL. Um, and you know the kids had a, we we brought about fifty five kids. Uh, we woke up at four thirty in the morning on a Saturday, and we got on a bus and uh, got up to Mansfield, and we didn't have anybody miss the bus. So um, it, it's 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 a fun time to be a part of Pittsburgh area football. I think we're getting a lot of buy-in. Uh, we we've asked our guys to, to take part in uh, in changing the culture. Um, we we've asked our guys to to, to trust the process uh, that that has been put in place by by myself. And, uh, and, and the assistant coaches and, uh, and so far, um, they, they've, they've done all that. And, uh, and we thought that was going to be a challenge coming in. Um, you know, having, having come from a situation at Mid Valley last year, uh, where, where there was a head coaching change and, and I spent a year with Coach Rebar, um, you know, the, the, the challenge is always to, to, to get everybody to buy in, you know, even the, uh, the older guys who, who have been in the system uh, for a while and, and trying to get, get them to change their ways. But um, we, we've had a, a really, really strong reception, especially from our seniors. Uh, we're developing, uh, I think, some really good leaders uh, within that class. And uh, I, th- I think we're headed in the right direction as we get into uh, the heart of the summer here. Jim Norris, the new coach of Pittston area, joining us here on the John Mandola Show as we talk football. And, uh, Jim, when you talk about your coaching staff, tell us about some of the guys you have on your staff. And, you know, will you have a role in the offensive end, the defensive end, calling it? Or are you kind of going to let your assistants do it? Every coach is a little bit different. Uh, tell us about uh, some of the guys on your staff and what you plan on uh, developing there. Yeah, sure. So, so you know, one of the, the big emphasis I had uh, when uh, – when, when when I uh, I took the job was that I, I wanted a couple different things from my staff. Number one, that I wanted to build a staff that was local, um, that were that were alumni of the district, that had some accountability, uh, not only uh, you know from an exit and O standpoint, but I think some emotional uh, accountability and emotional attachment uh, to the organization to to the, to, to the district. Uh, into the program, so we did that. We, you know, we have some some alumni that are a part of this thing. We we have a young staff that's really really energetic, but it's it's you know it, it's it, it's balanced by having guys like like Kenny Scalpy and, and and my father on the staff who you know who coached at Pittsburgh area for twenty five years. Um, you know, Kenny was here when and, and was coaching our running backs. Now he was here 
Um, and, and he's coached some of the best running backs that Pitt's been seen. You know, guys like Kevin Shotwell and Matty Pisano and, 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 and Tony Avisado. So uh, th- th- those guys bring the experience. And then, you know, it, it's rounded out by, a, by a, some, some younger guys that, that are, you know, late 20s, early 30s, played college football, and, uh, and, and are really, really energetic and, and, and work very hard preparing every day, you know, not just for competition, but for practices. Um, one of my goals as a head coach is to be very, very efficient as, as a staff and, and to be prepared as a staff and, and let the kids know that we respect their time. Um, we don't want to have long grinding practice. We want to be in and out. We want to be sharp and we want to be fast. Um, and, and the coaches are buying into that mentality and they're doing a great job with it. Um, you know, from a standpoint uh, of a head coach, you know, I think it's really important to have coordinators. Um, I, I don't think, especially at the at the three A and the bigger school, where where you're managing fifty to sixty kids, I don't think you could do it all as a head coach. So, so uh, you know, I, I built a staff where where we have two guys. And, that managing one, one guy's managing the offense, one guy's managing the defense. Joe Gort and Chris Chris Barnick, um, and, and and they've taken on the responsibility head on. Um, they're they're extremely invested in the, in the program. Uh, Joe played at Wilkes uh, and, and has coached at some high schools uh, in, in the area, including Pittston and including Scranton. Uh, Chris. Chris Barnick, who you may remember, was the starting quarterback at Kings for three years, played for Richie Manello, uh, went on to coach at Kings uh, for, for, for a few years. And, and when you have, I, I think when you have that college coaching experience, I think you approach the game a little differently. Um, you, you, you really learn how to prepare and game plan and, and get involved in those, those, those intense decisions that are made both both in, in a game plan uh, from you know Sunday to, to Friday, but but also uh, on game day. So I think these guys are prepared for the challenge. I think they know that that we're going to have some uh, maybe some rough roads at times during the season because we are a little inexperienced. Um, but I think through pre- planning, preparation, enthusiasm, we're going to overcome a lot of that. And, and like I said, I mean we have some experienced guys on staff that. That really help us round that round that out, Jim. What do you think the best abilities from a Pittston area football player are? And what I mean by that is, you know, what are you getting out of a kid from PA? I mean, when they're at their best, when you're finding their full potential and they're hitting the field, uh, what kind of kid are you think you're getting there? Yeah, I, I think I think we're getting a couple of different things, John. I, I think we're getting we're getting an extremely good work ethic. Um, and, 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 you know, that's a ref- reflection again of our senior class. Um, you know, they, they really led, led the charge in that regard. Um, our attendance is up every month, um, which, you know, you can't be happier about because, you know, when it starts getting real high, you, you know, you don't know if you can improve. And, and we continue to improve every month, even into June, even into July. Um, you know, we're coming off a month where we're probably going to have our best attendance yet, and that's a month where vacations are starting and, and school's out and jobs are starting and, and, and the kids are committed. And, and they're not they're not falling off and they're not deciding to go swimming and, and play baseball and play hoops and, and, and do other things and spend time with their girlfriend when they when they can be. They, they have a lot more choices than you and I had when, when we were in high school, um, but, but, but yet the guys are, are, are committed. Um, they're they're committed to one another. They're committed to the process that we put in place. So it's a great thing to see. Um, I think you're going to see that work that work ethic come through during the season. Um, I, I think you're going to see an athletic group of guys. Um, I don't think we're going to be the biggest team uh, in, in the league this year. Uh, we certainly got some boys up front, but we're, we're going to be extremely athletic and, and, and we're going to be fast and and we're going to be smart and we're going to be prepared. Um, and, and and we're hoping that all those things at the end of the day, um, you know, they, they add up to good things on, on Friday nights and Saturday afternoons. Pitts an area 
Patriot football, the topic here on the John Mandola Show. We're talking with the new head coach, Jim Morris. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers, locations in Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Kingston, Hazleton, and Williamsport. Jim, when you talk about that specific defense, uh, what type of defense do you plan on running? And on the offensive end, you're going to be a, a run team, a pass team, a little bit of both. Uh, t- tell us about both of those. Sure. Um, you know, d- defensively, um, I-, I think we're going to be a uh, – we're, we're going to be a four-man front, um, and, 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 and we're going to give multiple looks behind it. So, you know, we're going to give a 4-3 look. We're going to give a 4-4 four, four look, and, and we're going to five, find a ways to, you know, as you know, John, you got to stop the run, the line of the dog top room. So we're going, to, we're, going to, we're going to find a way to get five guys up front and, and, and you know, and, and build our eight-man box and do a good job there. So I, I think we're, you know, we'll be multiple offensively or uh, defensively. And, and from an offensive standpoint, you know, I, I really feel like it. We tell our kids this all the time, and, you know, I'm not afraid to say it. I, I think athletically we're going to be really good. We're going to be one of the better teams athletically. Um, and, 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 you know, as a coaching staff, it, it's really on us to find find a way to, to get our athletes to football. So, you know, whether that's running the ball with those athletes or, or throwing the ball with them, um, and, and find a way to get them in space. You know that that's that's where we're going with our offense, and uh, um, you know we're working really hard on that in the off season. We're we're we're, we're competing a lot, in a lot of different seven on seven situations. Um, Wyoming Seminary is uh, hosting a league uh, that uh, a few teams from the conference are are, are competing again. Uh, again, we, we were in Mansfield. Um, we'll be at the Lehigh camp. And I think it's going to, you know, it's, it's always a different story when you have pads on. Um, there's no question about it. And, but, uh, I, I think we're, 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 we're looking at this thing where, where we have some athletes, um, that can move around on the football field. And, and as a staff, we're, we're going to work really hard. Uh, to find a way to, 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 to get the ball in their, their hands and, and let them make plays and, and not really overcoach them too much. Jim Norris, Pitts and Area, we thank you for your time and uh, look forward to hearing more about the Patriots this year. And good luck when camp rolls around. Uh, as you say, summer's going well so far, and, and you guys have uh, a couple of good months ahead of you here to keep that hard work ethic going and, and uh, see what you could do this year. So uh, best of luck, Jim. John, thanks for having me on. Pittston area football here on the John Mandola Show, driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.